Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting and super fun because we are doing a what's on my iPhone. This is the iPhone 16 Pro, not the Pro Max because you guys know I can't do the big phones. Like I have tiny hands and I like to be able to like type and do everything with just one hand. Um, I love filming these videos and I'm kind of late on this trend because like the iPhone came out about a month ago. So I'm a little late to filming this, but I don't know, I just, I always love, I love these videos. So, so far I've been really liking the phone. It's nice, however, I do have like other thoughts and opinions about it. You can watch my honest review of the iPhone 16 Pro. I like it though, I don't regret my purchase, but it's not that different. I have the clear Apple case on my phone. I'm normally an Apple silicone girly, but I wanted something different and it's okay. I'm probably gonna go back to the silicone case or like a different case soon. But for now, this is fine and I like it all right. If you guys are new here, make sure you are subscribed and also turn on my post notifications. It would mean the absolute world to me. And also follow me on Instagram because I try to post on that too. And like, I like posting videos, TikToks. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on into what is on my iPhone. So I am a little bit on the side of the screen because I am going to screen record. This is what my lock screen looks like. I have just a very basic setup. And honestly, I will link down below the girl that I like kind of copied. Honestly, I really liked her setup and her screensaver. I don't know if she still has this now, but it's Catherine June. I just really like this. So on my home screen, I have just the date and my alarm. I always get up at five o'clock in the morning, like on work days, but on my iPhone, it says 505 because I get up at five from my hatch alarm, but in case that one doesn't work, like this is my backup alarm. So that's why it says that, that's the time. And then I have the weather. It just like, it looks good. Like I just like it. And then I have the do not disturb on just so I don't get like any notifications while I'm recording. But that is what my lock screen looks like. Swiping on up into the phone. This is what my home screen looks like. It's very basic and not very much is on it. When you swipe to the right or left, I don't really know, whatever direction you see all my apps. And then when you swipe to when you swipe over to the left, then you see like, you see the weather, screen time, like how long I've been on my phone today, and then also my clock. And that's pretty much it. So it's super basic. I'm gonna go through kind of everything that's on my phone though. So you guys can get some either inspiration or just like see what I have. So first off, I have my wallet, which this is so convenient because I almost never carry like cards on me anymore because of Apple Pay. And then with the Apple credit card, you get cash back. So it's amazing. And then I have Chrome. I don't really like Safari. I like a lot of the Google products, as you guys can see. Like on the top there, I have my Google Calendar because I just like to see what I have going on today and the next day. So that's why you see Flex because I had off today because I accepted to like not come into work today. So that's why that's there. But I love seeing what I have to get done. And I could have this with the Apple calendar, but I just like the Google one. Um, next we have YouTube, one of my favorite apps, obviously. As you guys know, I love YouTube because I've been posting forever. And this is my channel, so subscribe if you're not already. Next we have Google Maps. I just like having this here because when I'm in the car, I can like quickly click that and just quickly open that and get directions. So next I just have my productivity and in this little folder I have my mail apps and then I have my notes, which as you guys can see, like I always keep good work notes. There's a lot in there. And then I have reminders, um, my other mail app, Cycle Bar. I love Cycle Bar, even though their app is kind of finicky sometimes my flow app to check my period and somehow this app is so accurate and then i have my hatch sleep alarm clock oh my gosh i love this app so much you can like change the light you can change what you want to wake up to it's amazing and then we have social so 
For my social apps, I try to keep it very like minimalistic. So I have Discord, Reddit, I just like reading. That's kind of like how I get my reading in for the day. Like I just go on those apps and read because it's really entertaining. Next I have Pinterest and honestly, there's this pin I want to show you guys. I have gotten so much engagement on this one. It's insane. But anyway, that's what that is. Then I have Instagram, which if you guys are not following me, make sure you're following me. That's what my feed kind of looks like right now. And then I have TikTok. TikTok is freaking amazing. I've been on Aspen Ovar TikTok for forever and I'm kind of living for it. I wish she would just like spill the tea, but I get that it's her business and she can do whatever she wants. But anyway, I'm just being a nosy Nelly and want to know. But yes, follow me on TikTok because I've been trying to like post more, even though it's probably going to go away. Like I don't really know. And then I have X, which that's kind of just like a private account. And I just like post my weird thoughts on it and read. Again, that's another reading app. Next, I have my edit folder. And this is how like I edit my Instagram photos and stuff. So, well, it's like updating or something, but there's that app and then lens buddy i always love talking about this if we flip this around you can see kind of like my doors and me recording but this is just an app that just takes uh photos every second so if you don't have someone taking your photo you can easily just use this app and set up your phone um next i have preview i just use this app to kind of see what my feed looks like on instagram Next is CapCut. I love CapCut. It's so easy to edit TikToks and stuff, and I just highly recommend that app. Next, I have Camera Connect, and this just kind of gets photos from my camera to my phone really fast, so I don't have to like wait. And then next is Finance. I really only have two finance apps. I mean, I do have Venmo and PayPal, but I never use those. I only use Venmo for like one friend. Um, so I have Fairwinds and Chase, and that's just kind of like how I check my accounts. And then here's all my apps that I have on my iPhone. So obviously Amazon is a must. I have the App Store, the Apple Store. Authenticator is how I can like authenticate it's me for my Outlook and stuff. And then another authenticator too for like Google products. And then I have my calculator, calendar. That's the calendar app that just comes on the phone. I really don't use it anymore. Um, I have my camera, camera connect, CapCut, Chase, Chick-fil-A, Chrome, Clock, Contacts, Cycle Bar, Discord, Discover, Disney World. Um, I have the Donato's app because it's my favorite pizza. And then I have DoorDash. I never DoorDash anything because I think it's a waste of money because you have to pay all these fees. The only time I use DoorDash is when I'm getting my hair done and I really need like lunch and stuff, I will DoorDash. But other than that, it's just a big waste of money because you're just paying all these like app fees to have food delivered and the food's already like overly priced anyway, so. Anyway, um, Drive, which is just like a Google Drive to keep all my files on. eBay, um, I sell things on there. So if you guys want to check out my eBay, I think it's under my first and last name, but I do sell things. And then um, EverCheck Wallet is how like my company that I work for now knows that I'm like qualified to do my job. Like you update your certifications and licenses on that. And then I have Aeroscale. I haven't weighed myself in forever and I don't really want to, <laughs> but I have that. And then I have my personal Facebook, FaceTime. I have Facetune Basic, which is the free version of Facetune. It just takes out blemishes or objects you don't want. It's really convenient. Then I have Fairwinds, like you've already seen, Fidelity, Files. I think those are the files that like live on my desktop. Um, and then I have Find My, which is convenient because I have like air tags on my keys and um, my dog. So anyway, um, then I have the fitness app, Flow, Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Maps, like all three Google. Um, Hatch Sleep, Health. I always love checking the health app to see like how many steps I've gotten in for the day. So I think this was like, oh, this was October 3rd. I got like 9,000 steps. That's really cool. Next I have Instagram. 
iTunes because guys, I still buy my music because I don't listen to music that often and if I'm gonna listen to a song, it's gonna be on repeat, so I just like buy the song. Um, and then I have Lens Buddy, Lightroom, LinkedIn, Like to Know It, Like to Know It Creator because all the links like you see, pretty much everyone makes commission off of those if you didn't know that, so. Thank you so much for ever clicking on any links I put out. Um, Lululemon, Mail, Maps, Messages, Messenger, because some people still like use Facebook Messenger. And then um, Music, My Cricut, Cricut's my carrier for my phone. My Notes app, Open Table, I always am like making reservations and stuff to go different to different restaurants with like, uh, friends or family and stuff and it's just really convenient then I have Outlook that's like kind of just for my work email uh, passwords that's like the new app that iOS 18 has and then I have PayPal phone photos Pinterest podcasts I love podcasts guys I'll show you in just a minute what podcasts I like. So these are like the top ones I listen to. Gals on the Go has a new one. Manifest always comes out with one. And then sometimes Gretchen does. And then the other two don't really like have podcasts anymore. But I have been searching and I always like listen to the ones with Aspen in it because like she's doing her little podcast tour now. So I'm always down for an Aspen guest podcast. Um, preview, Reddit, reminders. Retouch is amazing because like you can just circle or like draw on something and it'll take out what you want in the photo. So if like, let's say I had something on my shirt, like I could just like put my finger on that and then like the item or object would be erased. It's so cool. And then Safari, Sephora, settings, shop. I love shop because you can like track your packages and stuff. Simply safe is our like home camera which i love because i creep on my family all the time um if i open it there's my mom's and piper and stuff so when i'm at work i'm always creeping on them um let's see smart lock that's kind of how i can authenticate myself there's another authentication app starbucks i use that app all the time every day almost and then target Teams is how like we get on like work calls if I'm not like at the hospital. Um, Ticketmaster because I'm going to see Sabrina Carpenter and I need a way to get the ticket for my friend. I didn't have, I don't normally have Ticketmaster on my phone but that's just for that reason. Um, and then TikTok, love TikTok. And then I have the TV app, Venmo again cause like I only Venmo like my one friend. <laughs> and then wallet, weather, and then my local TV stations weather app, Widget Smith, um, X, which is like old Twitter, and then Yelp, because sometimes when I'm really bored, I just read bad Yelp reviews. They're so good. They're so fun to read. YouTube and then YouTube Studio is kind of like how I track my analytics and everything. But that, my friends, is pretty much everything that is on my iPhone. Okay, side note too, I didn't show you guys what my control center looks like. So this is what my control center looks like. I have my brightness because I always tend to use my phone with my left hand. So I wanted like the brightness to be controlled with my left hand when I'm holding it. So that's really easy access. And then I have the volume and then all of this like network stuff. And then my podcasts are over there. And then again, because I use my phone with my left hand a lot, I wanted a focus and then silent mode over there. And then all of these apps too. Like I always use my timer for when I'm on breaks at work and stuff. So yeah, that's kind of what my control center looks like and how I've customized mine. In all honesty, I don't have that much on my phone and I literally just use it for like social media or content creation videos, photos, um, and that's why I always like to get the new one with like the better camera and stuff. Oh, if you guys are wondering, I always get asked this, what is the, the gigabyte storage? It's the lowest, it's like the 128 or whatever because I keep all my photos on an external hard drive 
And someone asked actually like how I get my photos on my hard drive. So basically what I will do like in the photos app, I will go ahead and select and then like I'll just select all the photos I want and then I will airdrop them over to my computer. From there, I will plug in my hard drive and stuff. So it'll say like Alex's hard drive or whatever your hard drive's name is. And I just drag and drop like all of those files into that hard drive. I know if you don't really work with hard drives or like know a lot about that, it will sound confusing, but honestly, it's a super easy process. And then from there, I just delete all of those photos off of my phone and I have so much storage and I can like video and photo whatever I want. And then any footage that I like don't need, I literally just delete from my phone. So like the TikTok I'm filming today, I'm just gonna take all those clips and once they're posted to where I wanna post them, I'll just delete all that footage and it frees up space. So I honestly never keep anything on my phone except for work photos, like setups or equipment supplies or instrumentation that like I will need to review, I will keep on my phone or I will still delete those photos. I'll just have it in my notes app. So the notes app is synced to the iCloud. So that is using up some of my iCloud storage, but not as much as if I were using iCloud for all my photos and all my videos. So that's why I don't use iCloud or keep them on the device put them on an external hard drive and then everything there is like super organized. So on that hard drive, I have different folders. So it'll say photo library 2024. And then I have January, February, March, April, like and so on and so forth. So I can like go back and like see in time, like when that photo was taken. It's just a lot better for me. And I guess if like someone were to ask me like, oh, what if, that got deleted or what if something happened to the hard drive, which is always a possibility, but I have that stuff uploaded to either Facebook, Instagram. Um, sometimes they're backed up on my Adobe Creative Cloud if I've edited those photos in um, Lightroom. Like there's always a way to like get stuff back. It might not be every like single personal photo and stuff, but I have most of it like posted or like on my personal accounts and everything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.